everyone, this is um, Emma Jane from Macmillan Education. I'm the Regional Sales Manager for UK, Ireland, um, Scandinavia, France and Benelux. Um, it's good to see you. Thanks for taking part, Emma Jane. Can I start by asking you uh, about the overall approach uh, in response to the academic, uh, to the pandemic, sorry, at Macmillan? Sure. Um, we are um, approaches um, change slightly over the year, but the, it started from initially when we're all at that panic stage of, OK, what can we do to help schools move online as seamlessly as possible and, you know, in terms of resources? So we initially started contacting um, schools. We knew that we're using our titles already and just checking, do you have a presentation kit? Do you have audio? Do you have files that you need? If you don't have what you need. What can you get? What can we get you? And make sure, you know, we did our part that if you're already using a course, that that part of things would be seamless because that was the obvious thing that we could do right at the very, very beginning. Um, we, we've kind of gone, I think, like many institutions and many schools is just sort of seeing how things are progressing and and just being around to see what support was needed and um, addressing that as and as and when. But that was a little bit, you know, sort of reacting to what people need. And as time has gone on, we've all moved away from that, hopefully that reacting to sort of actually planning and, and you know, putting a bit more structure in. So. We then moved into doing things, uh, concentrating on a little bit more teacher training. So that might have been um, through our webinar series. There was also a lot of one to one training with the local representatives. So that might have been training with schools and that could have been on specifically digital. It wasn't always. It was dependent on what the schools were telling us that they, they needed. So that was uh, kind of the next phase and then we've moved into company-wide now um, it's changed our product quite dramatically so we'll if you're familiar with Macmillan titles or you're familiar with the website you'll see um, what we're calling now our fully flexible offering so this means any new titles that maybe would have been hinged a lot on just print and a few digital components supporting that it's it, it's more blend a more blended approach or a fully digital approach so trying to uh, support in the sense of whatever way you are delivering your lessons and whichever way you might need to quickly adapt to delivering them in a slightly different way with very little notice you're going to have everything you need immediately so to try and avoid this a sudden panic again when schools you know have to close without without notice so it's it's been you know the, from, as i say from that let's get you online as quickly as possible with however whatever we have to give you to okay with you know what is actually needed and what what can we respond with over time and what resources have the schools you support uh, found most useful? I, I think um, the number one thing initially was the teacher's presentation kit. So something, um, you know, if you've got a presentation kit that looks good on a screen, has got all of the audio and video embedded, and you can, you know, a lot of schools trying to um, more or less run lessons the same way that they would. Um, face to face as much as possible so needing that you know kind of that heads up learning so that was what people were asking for um, immediately from us and you know whether it might be extra files or, or, or pdfs or whatever if the presentation kits weren't possible so it was straight away it was what can I have on screen to continue to present to my students um, that's changed um, the focus is moving more to what digital components can my students have. So it has changed a little bit um, over time. Um, and where uh, schools or teachers want to kind of find in up-to-date information about the resources or the activities at Macmillan, where is the best place to look? Um, so the best place is our website, which is www.macmillanenglish.com or for those of you who already know me and have contact details, the best place is to come directly to me. Great stuff. Um, do you want to give the email then in case they... Sure, it's www.macmillanenglish.com. Great. Um, and my last formal question then is, why are you supporting the ELT online conference? Um, 
So from a personal perspective, it's uh, one of my favourite in the usual year. Um, so I wanted to continue to support for that. And also, I think it's I think it's really important as an industry that we all um, see where we fit in that industry and continue to support that. So it was really important to me um, to continue to support the organisations and the schools and the teachers that I would be usually supporting. Um, uh, more so important now, as I say, in, in difficult times. So we really wanted to, to continue to be a part of something that we are a part of every year. Brilliant. Um, my last kind of just reflective uh, question be before we wrap it up is we've had to kind of reconsider our mission and what's their focus and what are we trying to do as ELT Ireland? Definitely something that we've had to ask ourselves and what's the value and what's worthwhile in, in, in that. Uh, have you um, uh, thought about the, the, the same in terms of uh, the, the mission at Macmillan and how you continue to uh, to deliver on it? Um, I think, I mean, it, it's the huge changes have been uh, uh, for us about how we provide resources and what resources might be needed and, and the digital is obvious. Um, but one of the things that maybe people don't know so much about um, is the amount that Macmillan do for teacher training and CPD sessions. So um, that has been, um, that has changed quite a lot in the, in the way that we provide that and in the, the amount that we actually provide as well. And I think it's been one of the things, whether that's Macmillan wide or whether that's, um, you know, more regional, this um, making sure that we're there in playing our part and participating in keeping the ELT industry together as a community, whether you know, both regionally and nationally um, as much as possible. So we've, that has, how we've done that has changed quite a lot this year, I would say. Yeah, the sense of community is something that has come out from everyone I've talked to, from schools to, uh, to teachers, to now uh, um, yourself uh, supporting it. I think that that is, a big realization. I mean, we knew it was there, but uh, it really has kind of come, come, come to the fore. I think the thing that we're definitely um, getting is that the thing that is um, being missed most is that spontaneous sharing of ideas that happens in the teacher's room. Um, so, which is why these kind of events and uh, or any kind of ELT sharing event is essential right now. I think for for obtaining that or something close to it.